Let's learn how to make quick access classrooms on our menu using the organization tool from Edit Me. So you see on my home page I have my classes organized. So it says period two students and I have a list of those students. So this is easy for me to find without using the index. And then I have a period three and we're going to make a new one now. So I'm going to add my period six students. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a page. I'm not going to put any students on this page. This is just to help me with the organization. I have to have a place that the site recognizes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create the page. And again, I'm not going to edit this page for adding students. I'm going to use the organizer. First thing I want to do is add my period six uh, class to the menu. So I'm going to go to organize and I'm in my menu and then I'm going to go over and I'm going to look for it and the anytime you create a new page on edit me it's the top one so I just have to get that and I'm going to drag it over underneath period three. That's very easy to do. So now I'm ready to add students to my period six group. So I have my a web-based gradebook open and I'm just clicking over to get my students and my first student begins with an A uh, so I'm gonna go in and I just type in the first letter or two in my organizer and it finds the student and uh, he has multiple pages I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the home page and I'm gonna drag it and I wanna put it under uh, period six or I want to put it in period six Now, actually what I've done first is a mistake I have it under period six and it's just sort of its own page I want it to be a sub page so I have to make sure I put it in period six if you get that little arrow next to it it shows you now that that student is a sub page or sub link so I go back to my gradebook I get another student and uh, in this class I have a couple of students named Brown so I type in B-R-O and those students come up and I'm gonna go ahead just like I did with my first student I'm gonna grab the first brown I'm gonna make sure not to put it next to the uh, to Jacob Arth but I'm gonna put it underneath then I'm gonna go get my other brown I first had Ariel now I have Taylor and I put her under Ariel and uh, what we're gonna see now I've just gone back to the home page to see how this works so when I go to my home page over on the left I've got my classrooms and uh, I can click down and and see what I've got here and I click into period six and I'm not finished with this yet but I've got four students in, in there now I can jump up to period two and I've got my whole class in there so this is a real easy way to organize your classes um, give it a try